Uh, what's going on? YouTube, uh, really good player here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft animation using the program Blender. So, what you're going to need is obviously Blender. You can get that here, blender.org, by clicking the download Blender. And you're going to need the Blender rig, which is basically a Minecraft setup, pretty much, and allows you to use your own skin. Um, another thing you're going to need is your Minecraft skin. Um, to get that, you can either like get it from wherever you got it from, or you can use a program called Minecraft Skin Stealer. Um, and basically, what you do is you enter your username and view skin, and then steal skin. I've got mine in my desktop. Make sure you have yours somewhere where you can remember it. Alright. Um, upon downloading the Minecraft rig, you're going to get a file called this file here. So Minecraft body blend and you can open that with Blender and you'll get given something like this. Um, so what we're first going to do is we're going to change our skin on our character. By double right clicking our character we're able to focus on our character and we click this little image icon here and we're going to hit reference skin. Then we're going to do image, replace image and you're going to get your Minecraft skin. So mine's on my desktop. And there we go. We got my Wolverine character with a black head for some reason. But anyway. Um next thing we're gonna do is set up our GUI. So we're gonna have our properties on this side, and you can do that by clicking this little item frame here. Properties. And we're gonna make that vertical. Just for easier use and I'm going to make this a timeline. Right, there we go. Um, next thing we're going to do is make our character have bones. So double click on our character, go to this um, object data box here, I'm going to click x-ray and b-bone or whatever, whichever one you prefer to use. I prefer to use b-bone as it's easier to use for me. Alright, and right now if we try to rotate our view, you see it will focus around this torch. So if we go back to camera view by hitting zero on the numpad, um, and we focus on our character and hit the period on the numpad. So the numpad is the set of numbers to your right, not the strip of numbers at the top. We hit the period, we're able to focus in on our character, and we're able to rotate using the mouse wheel around our character. Alright, so the animation we're going to be creating today is the one where he gets hit in the head by a block, as you'll see on my channel. So we're going to go ahead and rotate our character by going to the top of his head and clicking R. So you're going to rotate him like that. Um, double click on see his backbone here. Double right click on that and just do the same thing again. Sorry if that messed you up. Where is it? In there. Looks good. Alright, so it'll rotate from the point of view you're on. So if I go here, rotate him that way, go here, rotate him that way. So if we zoom out using the mouse wheel, I'm going to click on our iron block. And we're basically going to move that to behind the character. Now if we make that our center of focus, by clicking the period key on the numpad, we're able to focus in on the block, zoom out, and you'll notice these lines like protruding from the block. So this moves it along the y-axis, so nowhere else, and then the red one moves it across the x-axis, and the blue one moves it across the Z axis. Now the axis reference is in the bottom corner of the screen, as you see there. And if we move this back a bit, and then we're going to want to hit zero. So this gives us a like camera view. Like this black box is basically all we're going to be seeing. So you want to make sure the iron block is out of the view. Alright, now we're ready to record. So if we hit the small recording button down here and then the two keys next to it we're ready to start recording 
So if we zoom out, um, first thing we're going to want to do is focus in on the iron block. And then we're going to want to go to about frame 20. Um, going to want to rotate the block a bit. So you get it on like a decent angle. And press R. And then we're going to want to move it across its uh, X axis. So if we move it so it's almost hitting the head. Um, sorry, just undo that by pressing Ctrl Z multiple times. Uh, we're going to go to frame 0. Just do the tiniest movement. Go to frame 20. Rotate it. And I want to make it so it's just hitting the back of the head. Now if we look at that, it's going to animate until it hits the back of the head. So it's not like um, if you ever use pivot, where you've got one frame, it's just like that. And then all of a sudden it changes to the next frame. Now it's actually going to animate until it gets to the next frame. So if we do that, um, let's go one frame forward and focus in on our character. Let's just go back to frame 20, sorry. And we're going to hit this box with the keys in it. Scroll all, the way, scroll all the way to the bottom and click whole character. I'm going to click the single key. Now it sets a character frame for how it is at the moment. So if we just focus in on our character. Now X that, cross that off. And we're going to move the head. Oh, sorry. Uh, one frame forward. Now move the head so, so it's pretty much moving forward. Then we want to move the body forward. Move the arm. Now the arm's are good. And we're going to hit move the block so it's still in contact with the head. Rotate it the tiniest bit. And then we want to make the block kind of go up. So next we get a frame 30, around about there. Now if we just look at this at the moment by holding our mouse click, our left mouse click along the timeline and drag it, we can see the animation so far. So you see that's making contact. Let's get a frame frame 30 and and move our character so it looks like it's being thrown forward. So I'm going to move it across the x axis. the x-axis, um, z-axis, and just rotate the tiniest bit. It's basically what we have is it hitting him in the head and being flung up. In about frame 40, or 35, we want the character to hit the ground. Straighten him out. forward and let's take a look at that um, at this point I'm going to move him into the air a bit more just for a little bit of realism and then about frame 40 we're going to have him moving forward so sliding across the ground
maybe not so far forward. So you just like tinker with it to get your animation right. Alright, we got this block here. This is about the time he stops sliding. We're going to want this block to come down and hit him in the head. Nice, I know, but... Um, So there we go. Now if we look at that now. That to me that's a bit too slow, so we're gonna go to this block here. I'm gonna drag that up kind of and move it backwards a bit, rotate it a bit. Rotate it backwards. Alright, then at the period when it hits his head, we're going to want the arms to basically move up. periods after, we're going to want to make his legs move down. Fix your animation. <coughs> Sorry. And there we go. Now, the next thing we want to do is have the block roll off. So it's going to be continuing with a forward velocity. So we want it to roll off the edge of the building. Whatever. So let's just have it move up a bit, rotate a lot. and we've done something wrong. So it's just control Z that and we'll go to about frame 50 move this along, move this up, rotate it a bit let's just see how that is be up I think and then about frame 60 you want it to completely disappear Focus in on that. And I hit R oh, so it rotates. And then we go back to our camera view. And let's just see how the animation goes. Bang. Bang. That looks pretty good to me. Alright, next thing we're going to do is go to about frame 70, click frame, and set end frame. It's just going to cut off the animation. Uh, then we're going to want to actually animate our film. So, uh, you want to go to output, this little sub box here. Click this file icon to the side. Save it in a file you would like to save it. So, headshot 3, I guess. and we want to change the file format to avi.jpg it's a small file format quality to 100% and we're going to click animation and it's going to render right, so I'm going to pause the recording and come back when it we're ready when it's rendered alright so our render is done and we're going to go back to previous and we're going to hit play It's a pretty bad animation, but 
Oh, well. I'm sure you guys get the point of it. Um, so you're going to cross that off. And, yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. Um, if you liked, please, uh, liked it, please thumbs up. Um, subscribe, do all that stuff. Um, yeah, see you next tutorial.